how you doing here okay well I was trying to do live stream kept losing my audio and video feeds uh, from out here in the garage into the um, bedroom so I'm just going to use an uh, open camera and uh, you can see uh, I think the light Setting up a light to try to help. It looks like maybe it's, it's kind of tricky to get it to the right place. Thought maybe with it being behind the camera, it would do more good. Well, it's going to be dark up in there no matter what, I guess. Let's see. You know, I keep forgetting that my tripod is. This light tripod, this is a tripod for a light. <coughs> it would actually be perfect for my cameras. Let me start using that. Uh, until I get, buy me something or whatever. Fix that one. <coughs> I thought about that before. Okay, so, uh, dryer's running. I don't know how long. That's been going forever. Of course, my well, dryer doesn't get real hot. Well, it does, but anyway. We bought big loads, I guess. It usually runs for a couple of hours, uh, and it's been on for, feels like at least an hour, but my light fixture up here, oh, that's where it's mounted, it's on the ceiling. Oh, and I see that there is a uh, thumb screw on it, so I can, a uh, wing nut, so I can take it down to inspect it. Um, but it was shocking me, when I, when I screwed the, uh, I screwed an adapter in there that you can put a light bulb in and it has a chain switch and then you can plug stuff into it. And I was fiddling around on it trying to uh, plug that uh, power supply in for the the new security camera. That's what I'm trying to do is install my new security camera. And that's where I'm going to plug it in because it's already a hole up there to go outside. Yeah, there's my hole. I might have to make it a little bigger so everything will fit through, but it's right close there. It'd be great. But that thing is shocking me. And Actually, that, that I noticed that the socket is loose in there. That's got to be where it. Oh, good, the dryer quit. That's got to be where it's touching the frame of that thing. And, um, short. It, it's putting electricity on it, making it hot. So uh, it was pretty good shot. I touched it two or three times to make sure. <laughs> yep, darn sure I'm getting shot. <laughs> so that's an old porch light. Is what it is. I put it up. I'm saying I was thought I was saying in a live video. Uh, I put it up when I was 10 or 12 years old. I grew up in this house, and, you know, moved away when I was 18, came back when I was 35 or 40, when my health got bad. So, uh, um, to my mom's house. So yeah, I can get it down. It was turned off too, and it was still shocking me. So I don't know. That switch must be on the common side and not the hot side, because this house only has two wires that don't have a ground. It don't have a third one. <laughs> So, uh, get my, okay, I've got a, a, light, a light up tester and I've got a, I guess you, yeah, maybe if I just put, I'll put some gloves on so I won't, and get it, try to get it down. Well, I gotta, yeah, I'll put some gloves on, get that socket out of there where I can get to that thumb screw. And these leather gloves, they'll be enough just to keep it from getting shot from that. And then I'll do some testing and stuff and figure out what's going on. I may be able to see it visually. I didn't get jolted when I was screwing this in, but I noticed how loose that socket is. I didn't think much about it. Yeah, let me do that. Uh, they're held in. Well, I might be able to show it in a minute, but... Oh! That stuff is further spread out more than you expect. But this is the kind of adapter I'm going to use. They're pretty handy. I've used them. I don't know. I found one around the house when I was a kid, and I've used them all my life now. <coughs> of course, I mean, I had to buy some more. But uh, <coughs> the house doesn't make them. <sighs> yeah, you get you get a shock. Well, if you're touching that, you get you get. That's what it was. I was probably getting grounded to these. I was like, how did I get grounded though? Because. This is aluminum ladder, but I got my rubber, rubber sole leather boots on, plastic, you know, tops plastic, even if my knees were touching that, but there's rubber feet on it. I'm getting shot. 
ground here. These uh, garage door things, they may be going to ground somewhere. These rails. I can't do that with that. Oh, let's go ahead and keep trying. If I drop it, I'll find it or get another one. And it is turned off, but that's not good enough. Still get my power somehow. I didn't think I was going to have to bring any work on this. Oh, it's got a... I think that's the original... It doesn't spark when you do that. Huh? That's the original... Uh, it's Romex points to it. But this was here when we bought the house and switching this wiring. A few years ago, I had to replace the switch. It lasted. It had an old metal switch. It was even a brass cover and a brass switch. It finally wore out inside. And I had to play, replace it. But, uh, let's see. I've got a ground wire on that. I wonder if I tried to run that to ground because I had trouble with it. This model, well, that, that like I said, that was here. Somebody, whoever installed this, they installed a free wire. Evidently, it was doing that, and I used the ground wire to try to help stop that, but it didn't stop it. Now, where is it? Maybe I'm showing it still. Okay, the light switch. I really cannot tell. I've got a light where I can't even get a good angle on the... There we go, get behind the light. I think I'm way up too high. Yeah, okay. Where are you? There you go. There we are. Now that should be good. I know the audio, well, the audio won't be too bad now that there's not much of noise. But I can't use my lapel mics uh, on this app to only do it. I don't want to be tied to a wire anyway. So I'm going to see if I can figure out how come I was getting shot. Not this way no more. I don't want it touching. Oh, now it, now it touches it. There we go. I don't want it to touch the... First, I think I'll try the old um, light-up thing. Okay, let's see. Touch the ground and the case. Let's see if it lights up. Because I was getting shocked by the case. There's a... I don't even know if that ground goes to anything. something out and start welding. Yeah. It doesn't make it all that. I'm going to get my multimeter and see. Let's see if I can tell that way. Keep, one, keep the glove on the, the one where the I'm holding it. Well, actually, I'm going to have to try and do this with a jangle on here. Actually, I can hold these things with gloves on. That way, if I forget to touch the wrong thing, I won't get I don't know if that ground wire is actually going anywhere. Uh, I don't know where it could go other than. I mean, it goes inside the switch box, and I don't see a wire coming out of it going to ground anywhere. So I think I just did that hoping it would help years ago, and then never mess with this again. Not getting any voltage that way. Okay. But it shouldn't be biting you. Speaking of bites. Something bit me. My arm, I guess you can really see it, but my arm has a, had a blister on it, and it, it's all kind of swelled and swelled up all around that area. I don't know what. I didn't see or feel it. I just noticed the blister when I went in the house. And I was like, Let's 
turn the switch on and see if we get anything. See, it's off. So I'm not getting anything. And this kind of a, well, this meter is hard because it hunts, but there was a tr there is a trace of something going on there. When I, turn it on. I think it's just humming. So yeah. Okay. That's that. And I shouldn't be getting anything there. It does work. I just took, I had it on a while ago. The light that was in it. Sure, I know I'm on one too. Yeah, AC or AC voltage. Well, unless that actually it's opposite, unless the switch is backwards. But I already tried this, but I tried it again. Huh. Um, I could see, I mean, it would go backwards if I was just had the poles reversed. I thought there might be something wrong with the wiring here. This is the actual Romex run in there. Okay. Ah. Let's look at this. That's what I meant to do to start with. Inspect the wiring. I think it's uh, not a. It's sharp on this edge, and it would just run around it. I think it's rubbed the insulation up there. Oh. Looks like maybe it has. A, okay, or it could just be some. There's actually a dirt over nest up in there. Could be some of that stuff. Doesn't help. I should have brought my other magnifying glasses in the house. I guess I'm getting nothing but a reflection when I try to use this light here. That one was old and stupid. Uh, let's turn it, bend it around the world. Yeah, judging by that ground wire being attached to the side of that, I think I would have been shocked by it before and I tried to fix it by doing that. I'm just hoping. No, it's not rubbed through. I mean, it doesn't move, you know, nobody messes with it. I didn't expect it to. No, it's good creases in it, but they don't go through. They don't. Neither one of them. Uh, yeah, this was our old porch light, I'm pretty sure. Unless I just got a hold of it somehow. Yeah, the Romex, it, it does have the original wires that go out of, you know, from the port, from the socket here. It could be something wrong with it inside of itself. was not expected. I wasn't supposed to be having the diagnosal band light socket. I was supposed to be just hanging a camera. Just taking about 20 minutes to hang a camera. Spent about three hours up there. It could be, you know, the socket. Sometimes what will happen is the, they'll get broken up inside, you know, and they'll, the, the short will be the socket itself, not the wiring. And that, this, since this is all metal, then that could cause you to get short. But it doesn't seem no loose. So I think I'm going to get a light bulb and put it in there. And uh, kind of wiggle around on the socket and see if it goes on and off. Let me run and get it out. Yeah. Yeah.
75 degrees or so when I, or it might have been 72 when I started. Now I can feel it cooling down. They said it's going to cool down. Tonight. I think, well, actually it was 62 out here. Yeah, up in Fort Worth it was 75 in the weather, but on my indoor outdoor thermometer it was 62. Now it's it's below that. Enough for me to, enough for me to feel it. So, uh, first I'll try just the light bulb. Then I'll try with this socket. I'm going to keep my gloves on. It was just working, so I don't think uh, there's anything wrong with the... Uh, I mean, there could be something wrong with the socket. But, uh, because, you know, it was up there working and not being disturbed. Okay, so... Yeah, it's not... It's pretty loose, though. And I'm not going to sit here and try to get shocked by moving it, but it moves quite a bit. That's what it was happening when I was, I was, uh, I didn't have a bulb. Well, I dropped the bulb and broke it. And uh, I had this in there. And I was getting ready to plug in the power supply for the uh, It's not really hanging in the optimal direction either, but let's keep that away from the middle. I don't know which way is on and off for that, but let's see what happens. Unless it has something to do with this adapter. I don't know why it would, but I don't know. The chain could have been touching the frame. Well, it was hanging like this. We'll put it in there like that now, so it makes it easier. This doesn't want to go in there. It doesn't want to thread up. Yeah, you really got to get it right. Now, it's off, so it shouldn't do anything. I might be okay. Maybe I won't have to refocus it. But I've got stuff to do it. I'm sure I have to dig it out. But if it's okay, it's okay. You know? Yeah, there's really no good way to run that wire some other way where it won't. Looks like like it had been skinned all the way through. It's not. Well, it that I didn't. Let's see. Oh, that's not touching. I'm gonna make sure none of that's touching. Okay, so that's not on. No, that's on. That works good. I didn't know if this was wore out. Seems fine. It is awfully loose. That wouldn't be very good to uh, be always yanking on there with it that loose. See, I was going to put a string on it so I could reach it. Cause it's up pretty high. It's up at the ceiling. I could try and mount it down lower. I actually would rather it be below the garage doors. Could mount it right in that area, just below the rails. But let me see what kind of a other fixture I have. Let's put this bulb back in. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna replace that fixture, I think. I think that's the reason I think that's the reason I was getting shot. It's really loose. It's not really gonna be safe like that. It in time anchor on that chain. It's really the only good spot I've got. That's the only electricity I got, and that's in the perfect spot. So it'll be worth it, I think. Okay, now let me look. <coughs> this one is much worse about if you this app. If you unplug the power, it will often kill the. Uh, video. I think I can do it. Why didn't I think of that before? I wrapped this thing that I've got. I had it tied onto the had it tied onto the uh, 
mic stand there that I used to hold it, and I can, but I can use this. This is a clip, you know. I can just squeeze it and take it on and off, and I had it tied right there, which was good. But now I realize, well, if I tie it to the <laughs> handle that I'm holding the thing with, I got a little wooden stick off of that clothes tree back there. Uh, I used to have that in my room, and the, the, the legs that hold it up broke, and I was going to fix it, but I never did for a couple of years. So I said, well, you know what? I'm using that stick. So up here, I may have. You see anything? I got that from Lusty One. Well, I always. I did it every once in a while, but he does it constantly until I got tired of hearing it, but it's funny. Talking to the. He constantly talks like you could answer him, you know. I did it a little bit without even realizing I was doing it. And then I thought, I do that. And then I thought, you know, that's kind of annoying when you keep on and on. God, he, uh, he's really, he knows everything about old, mo I like old uh, motors, you know. I like old stuff, period. My power is going to get unplugged. So, uh, anyway, he, he, knows, he knows how to, he loves to get old generators and lawnmowers and motorcycles and fix them up and he likes Volkswagens too I don't have any interest whatsoever in Volkswagens but it's interesting he can teach me stuff I never knew because I never were I used to work on I like Chevys and I kind of like Dodges and I actually have a 60, 76 Chevy Blazer and an 83 Dodge van the van was given to me by my uncle before he passed away and they both need work the carburetor for the Blazer is over here waiting for me to do something a bit. Power supplies. I really do not remember, you know, where I might have put a lot of the stuff I put in boxes. And uh, so I could find them for one thing. And uh, just looking. Some of it. Most of it's hardware stuff up there. Um, computer hardware. Uh, oh, chandelier light fixture. Yeah, we'll put a chandelier right here. It's really neat, really old. And mom got it years when I was a little kid. And she kind of, I think, thought she might fix it up. Oh, those glass light globes back there. And just above that old igloo lunch mate thing. I think that one might be. No, that's the one that I had in my blazer for many years. And the sun just shining through the window. It was kind of ready to use, you know. Uh, it made the white plastic just start disintegrating. The sun shining on it. So, uh, uh, nothing there. On this side, most of this stuff is not really in good shape. Oh, wait. Some of it is. Light fixture, four bulb. I don't need four bulbs. That's probably one of the ones I was thinking of flashlights some of this stuff is good stuff and some of it is things I save for parts or I thought I might fix one day one day still I'm still when I get around to it and I can't find more around to it okay uh, took many years to build this much of stock up let's see and these are the oh the most recent old computers that were given to me. Some of them were working and some of them are. Let's see, yeah, there's no light fixtures here, I don't think. I don't know what's in those two boxes. I mean, I could put one up there that has four in it, but I don't need that. I thought I had another single fixture somewhere. I think I may have a really small one in that box. I've got a replacement for the actual fixture itself, but that one I just noticed is riveted in there. And I thought, well, don't really want to. Uh, my power supply is easily going to come unplugged from my extension cord. I'm trying to be careful not to have that happen. This light is blinding me. I'm not working up there right now. I think I'll put this over here where I did last time. When I was, yeah. Then I think I can, as long as I kind of hold this, this is what I'm talking about. I didn't bother to, I just thought I was going to be doing it for a little while and I didn't bother to try to really secure it or anything. Put it up there on the desk. 
Yeah, so no, I'm a horrible cameraman. I used to be good with a real camera, but that's all you're doing. You're just aiming the camera and paying attention to what you're doing. I can do it, but these these phone screens are hard to figure out where you're aiming them anyway. You, where, if you get at them, you have to be at exactly the right light, exactly the right angle to see what you're doing, see what's going on. So uh, that's what I'm going to have to do. Let's get this stuff down. I already got my drill out and ready to just uh, enlarge my hole. Ain't nowhere near that yet. Yeah. Oh. Old smoke detector. Looks like it's no good. Good speaker out of the TV that's good and something else. No, I'm not sure do it. Okay. Oh. Well, I'm not going to be doing my kit of more often than I use AC electrical stuff. And the light bulb. This is my little box that I know I have some stuff like that in. I've got some car stuff and some uh, you got car light bulbs and stuff and some house stuff in there. There we go. Got uh, there we go, a whole light fixture that's, I thought I had a, I think that is a new one, and I put it on there and then decided not to use it. I can see this is rusty, so, yeah, oh, I think it was, oh, that's what it was. The light got broke up there in the front part of the garage, and I used this temporarily to replace it until I bought a new one. Okay, let's see. Now here's one of those without a pull chain. Those adapters. <clears throat> switch. Oh yeah, that's a brand new toggle switch. I would actually like that much better, but it, you have to run wires to it. Okay, this would work. Think. Let me get that thing and bring it over here and see. Oh, I can't bring it over here unless I wear it. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's get this. I'll get that out. Probably be using that. So I'll just jump back until I'm ready to. Oops. Well, that was good at least. Those are car bulbs and one of them fell. But it hit my foot. Of the ground. I already broke one light bulb tonight. I'd rather not break anymore. Okay. Uh. Okay, we will go back over this way. Unwire that thing. I don't think it's going to shock me. Oh, it did. I'm gonna un uh, wear my gloves and take those wire nuts off of it. I don't want to knock my multimeter off, so.
to put my cord in here in such a way that it wouldn't you know, get, get hung up on me. Okay, so this is probably I'm trying to think a little more, I think. Can't get any straighter than that. So here it is. And uh when you get that adapter on it, it well there's with the direction it moves and I think maybe that's what caused it to sh short inside the socket itself and see it's riveted on there I've got my drill out I can probably drill that out or grind actually I think I can grind that off uh, not sure if that's where I want to go through let's see yeah this is a different kind of mount See, this is the kind where the wire the wiring goes through the this pipe it's, it's pretty standard inside of a house. There's some kind of something in there. Piece of paper off of wire insulation, I think. But uh, yeah, I think it was some Romex paper. Anyway, I had, like I said, I I remember now that I used it for the light over there. Kind of just just that was it. You know, it was just hanging down from the 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 hanger in the in the roof. So, uh, you don't actually need all this, but that thing, that I've actually got a mount for a, well this light, I don't know, let me show it, these were real common, where is it, yeah, these were real, are, were real common when I was young and still have some, and uh, actually these I got from my friend, his dad had them. When his dad passed away, but uh, you know they some they would have like a, bra a U bracket and uh, and a circle mount that's up in the ceiling. I'd be too hard to show that. And then uh, uh, it's got a quarter twenty bolt coming out of it, and then a, a, a wing nut. And that used to be outside. I remember that, and I used that mount with this old porch light fixture <laughs> years ago when I was a kid or a teenager. I remember how old it was when I did it. I think this was our old porch light. Uh, I don't know. There could have been more than one put in over the years, but what it was is it, I think it was got replaced because of that, and uh, or maybe the I think probably the globe just got broke, really. And then I can oh I can use that you know because I the light I didn't want it out there anymore for whatever reason outside didn't really need it and I wanted light in here really so. Yeah, that can move. The whole thing can move because it's not a nut and bolt that you can tighten down. It's a rivet. That's really the rope. Oh, that's the movement that it's doing. Just realized that now. Oh, and the problem I was kind of worried about, these were like this. And I thought they might have been... Let me get my... Yeah, they show, you know, signs of being bent for many years, but they're not. There's creases on that side. They're not cut through. Uh, the light's going to reflect off that thing. I can't show it to you, but you can see that right now. Yeah, not going to work. So anyway, they're not cut through. That's what I was thinking is maybe the electricity was getting to this, and that's why it was shocking me. For whatever reason, it's shocking me. I don't want it. No more. So, uh, and I was thinking I would mount, you know, another. I knew I had a new one of these, but this is a different style. Although I could go to, you know, drill a hole in here and mount it in there like that. Get, get rid of this. I'm thinking I could just mount this. Get these screws out of here. I'm just mounting it straight up to the sheetrock, but I have to have sheetrock anchors that wouldn't stay or hit a stud over there. Let me glance up there and see if it looks like there's a stud up there to hit. Yeah, that's where I put that mount. There's a, I mounted it to a stud. I it up it up with nails, it would be hard to get down. I was just thinking, well, I could take it down and just put this up there. I can probably, well, I'd have to drill that out big enough to go to 420. Where's my, 
This I don't want. That's the problem. That's how I do things. I just put them where it's easiest at the moment. But uh, that is big enough for that quarter twenty, maybe. Of course, I couldn't measure it. But let me measure it. I don't know exactly how wide it is if I measure it. Okay, let's see, is that on zero? Yep. It is not quite two, it's about two hundred thousandths, yeah. It's a little less. It's hundred and ninety thousandths, so it, yeah, it's not I thought it didn't look like it was quite a quarter. Do I have a quarter twenty bolt handy? Don't look like it. I mean I got them everywhere, but It's long, a little bit of short screws. Well, that's all I really need is just some black screws and screw it in that way. I don't need to mount it on that plate. I can just move it. I won't worry about taking that plate down, but I can move. I can just run screws, black screws into the into the studs up there. And Some wood screws, or uh, some people like to call them sheetrock screws. Whichever one you want to call them, they'll work both ways. Let's see. Got this little tip, I'll put it back there. I was keeping it out for adjusting the. Well, I probably should keep it in my pocket because I'll probably get up on the ladder and want it. It helps. Uh, a bit sometimes it depends on what you're doing on uh, loosening and tightening that camera stuff what do I do with the other one put it in your back pocket you can kind of wall it, wall it goes around in there it's the only pocket I've got where I can really put stuff and get get it in and out like easily today I'm paying somewhere well pretty much any of my pants would be that way though okay it is really cooling off I can't believe now, what I need to that's so long I'm not I'm not doing that with that look how long that is you know what I'm gonna do don't you? stuff in so many different places. These are just drill bits. Pretty much all my new fancy bits are hit in my boxes with my with or near my battery drills and I don't want to dig through them because all the batteries are dead. somewhere get this cord that's, that light was plugged into hopefully I can still do this I'm wearing a t-shirt and shorts and I'm getting chilly in the garage I think it's gonna be cold out there when I go out and get out of the garage to I do have to get out there and drill a hole for the, the cable to go through once I got this stuff out, I didn't want to quit. I had so much trouble with my video and everything. That's pretty handy. That's why God gave us these things. Might as well use them. Now, when I was a kid, I had electric drill as my first power tool, but it did not reverse. And I figured out before any grown man ever told me that I really wouldn't. I used to drive screws with it, 
I would uh, cut off screwdrivers, old, old kind of bad handles, but the cheap plastic handles, but a good tip. I'd cut them off with a hacksaw, and I think I'm sure I saw an adult do it. I, I don't know, but anyway, uh, these kind of things. You really? Don't, I don't think I saw them till I was pretty much grown. You just, you know, with the magnet and all that. But uh, used them all up a lot. This was I was. I, I don't know if that got on the video, but I bought this in around. 80, 80 to 83 uh, when they first came out uh, you know I was a cabinet maker and we uh, we used you know American tools Porter cable and all that stuff Rockwell they were actually made in America back then and they were good and this was a new upstart Makita and uh, that thing is still working the cord you know from being bent uh, the wires broke inside and I cut it off and took this up apart cut it off and put it back on there and it's been working another 20 years 25 years and I did used to use it pretty much every day when the first five years I had it since then it just went you know when I was doing a project or something okay. uh, yeah this program sometimes is shut down the one I'm recording with so uh I have to kind of watch it yeah, I'll just leave that exactly like that, and my wires, I'll just screw it up to the ceiling. That's all I need. It'll be good and solid. I can hook up my wires to it. Nobody gets up there to get shocked or anything. And uh, I can even, I'll wrap some tape around it, too. I don't have, like, a good rubber thing to cover it with. Yeah, you wouldn't want to, you might think, you know, get up there and grab a hold of it without thinking when you're changing light bulbs. So I'll just tape it up real good. I'm not going to try to run. There's no. This is made so that you can run the wire through it, that that pipe. But I'm not going to be doing that. There is that other fixture. I keep thinking about that. I'm going to go ahead and work. I've. I haven't done anything other than take those screws out. So I'm not, it's not like I'm going to waste a lot of extra time. Light fixture. After all this, it's actually starting to sprinkle now. Looks like it may be going to sprinkle too much for me to get out there and do it. And I got my, I'm going to bring that ladder in. And I've got a chair that's sitting where it can get wet. And it's a cushion, you know, office chair. I don't want that getting messed up. Yeah, let me bring that. The only thing I know to do is. Uh, Fold that one up, put it in its place. I'm grabbing my gloves, and uh, this is what I'm talking about right over there. Fold that one up, put it in its place, and then or a place or something. Well, while I'm here, I'm already out here with all these tools drug out. I'm going to try to at least uh, 
get this flat fixture fixed up. I don't know if, it, if it, it's actually it's supposed to rain pretty good tonight, maybe. And it looks like it may be starting. It's sprinkling now, pretty you know heavy enough to start really getting things wet. So I went ahead and I went ahead and turned off the uh, brought that stuff in. It's been out there all this time. I, I thought I was just going to spend 20 minutes hanging that dang thing. And I was making a video, and the video is actually what ruined everything. My drop, everything, my stream kept going down and stuff, and I kept trying to make everything work. And then when I ran into that problem with the wiring, let's see. So I want to go ahead. I, I just I saw that and I didn't want to dig it out. And that line, box, the third box down, but that's not going to want to dig out. Before I go any further, with all these tools and everything, okay, that's what a mess. Okay, and actually, I'm not talking about the messy garage. I'm talking about this project being a mess instead of going like I wanted it to. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's not. Oh, but there's something else in there. Look at there. Nice little fixture. It's got wires that have been taped to get twisted. Oh, they're twisted and taped, I bet. I bet they're not even soldered. Well, they might be. They feel like they're soldered. Yeah, they're soldered. I don't remember doing this, and I don't actually remember this fixture. I think I just... That's not a bad looking one. Oh, there's two in there. These are not really outside fixtures, which is fine. This is inside. They got a little twist on and off. That's the wrong kind of switch, though, from, for what I need here. Uh. <laughs> yeah, they've both been done that way. I don't know where I got a hold of these. Uh, I was probably helping somebody do something, and they were there. Now, this one here, let's look at it. It's, it said on the box four. Now I realize it's three fixtures, four total. Four total. <laughs> That's not what I was, not what I was expecting. <laughs> Gasket of some sort. Oh look. Oh yeah, it's got one of those standard painters. But you know, you you could. It's not well. That's that bolt is not near long enough to reach through here. To, you know that would hang. I could hang that. Uh, not using this is what I wasn't thinking of. If I had, a, if that hanger that's already up there had a long enough quarter twenty sticking out, I could just put a washer on there and hang it. That's a push button. Of course, I couldn't use that. Uh, I need the pull chain. Well, actually, that could.